students today let us see a problem from the topic isomorphic graphs so this is a question two graphs are given we are asked to establish an isomorphism between these two graphs by considering their adjacency matrices before proceeding to write the adjacency matrices the labeling also they have given in the problem itself u1 u2 u3 u4 u5 u6 v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 v6 these are all given now let us first verify the invariant properties how many vertices are there in g and h both graphs have six vertices and how many edges are there in g and h both graphs have seven edges and what about the degree sequence there are three four degrees of two degree two vertices and two vertices of degree three vertices in both graphs so degree sequence are also same circuits if we take there is no circuits of length 3 in both the graphs and circuits of length 4 there is only one circuit u1 to u2 u2 to u3 u3 to u4 u4 to u1 this is the circuit of length 4 in g and this is the circuit of length 4 in h v1 to v2 v2 to v3 uh, 1 2 3 sorry uh, 1 2 3 4 v5 to v6 v6 to v3 v3 to v4 v4 to v5 similarly there are two circuits of length 5 in graph g 1 2 3 4 5 this is one graph one circuit and 1 2 3 4 5 this is another circuit similarly here also 1 2 3 4 5 this is one circuit and 1 2 3 4 5 this is another circuit so both graphs have uh, two circuits of length 5 and all the invariant properties are verified now to prove that adjacency matrices are equal first of all let us relabel the vertices judiciously by considering the role played by the vertices so first of all i consider there are two vertices of degree 3 what are the vertices u2 and u4 in g and v3 and v5 in h so i can map u2 to v3 u2 to v5 r and u4 to v3 or u4 to v5 there is a tie i can break in my own way so i choose in this way u2 is mapped to v3 u4 is mapped to v5 u2 to v3 u4 to v5 this is my choice now look at the degree two vertices there are four vertices of them two vertices play a crucial role unique role look at the vertices u3 and u1 these are the degree 2 vertices and they are adjacent to degree 3 vertices both side u1 is adjacent this side u2 degree 3 vertex u4 degree 3 vertex similarly u3 is adjacent to u4 degree 3 vertex u2 degree 3 vertex likewise in h also which is the what which are the vertices that are adjacent with degree 3 vertices both sides if you look at that v6 is one such vertex v6 is adjacent with degree 3 vertex both sides similarly v4 is another vertex that is adjacent to degree 4 vertices both sides so I can map u6 to v6 or u6 to v4 similarly sorry u1 to v6 u1 to v4 or u3 to v6 u3 to v4 there is a tie again so I break that tie in this way u1 is mapped to v6 u3 is mapped to v4 now carefully I, I am going to map the other two vertices these two are the remaining two vertices u5 one side degree 3 vertex other side degree 2 vertex u6 one side degree 3 vertex other side degree 2 vertex similarly v1 one side degree 3 vertex other side degree 2 vertex v2 one side degree 3 vertex other side degree 2 vertex 
now where which which vertex is going to be mapped to which vertex if we see that u5 is mapped to u4 where does u4 is mapped to u4 is mapped to v5 u4 is mapped to v5 and u5 is adjacent with u4 v1 is adjacent to v5 so these two roles play the same role so i map u5 to v1 that is what we are going to do u5 to v1 so automatically the other vertex u6 i have no other choice it has to be mapped to v2 so u6 mapped to v2 all the vertices are mapped u1 u2 u3 u4 u5 u6 u1 is mapped to v6 u2 mapped to v3 u3 mapped to v4 u4 mapped to v5 u5 mapped to v1 u6 mapped to v2 now i am going to relabel the vertices in this way u1 as a u2 as b u3 as c u4 as d u5 as e u6 as f and in the same manner these vertices are going to be labeled u v w x y z v6 u v3 v v4 w v5 x v1 y v2 z so these vertices are relabeled in this way a b c d e f and u v w x y z and i write the adjacency matrices of these two graphs from this labeling a to f a to f u to z u to z so you know how to write the adjacency matrices if two vertices are adjacent i put 1 if they are not adjacent by an edge i put 0 between in that corresponding entry so adjacency matrices are written and compared we saw uh, ag equal to ah adjacency matrices are equal so when the adjacency matrices are equal we can we shall say the two graphs are isomorphic and we conclude isomorphism is established so let us see another problem in the next video thank you